Have you guys ever heard of a crypto project with a $400 million market cap and they have a $120 million liquidity incentive program and they also burn 60% of all exchange fees collected? Well, look no further. Today I'll be talking about Injective Protocol, ticker symbol INJ, and why I think they're absolutely bound for success. Hey guys, my name is Thomas. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Thomas. I'm a front-end software engineer who loves to talk about crypto and penny stocks. If you guys want to see more of that type of content, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell in order to be notified whenever I make new videos. Uh, I did want to note that I am not a financial advisor and anything I say is definitely not financial advice. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Today, I'll be talking about Injective Protocol and why I think their crypto token, ticker symbol INJ, is severely undervalued. Injective Protocol is a decentralized exchange or DEX protocol that offers advanced features like cross-chain margin trading, derivatives, forex, synthetics, and futures trading. It was designed to be a completely decentralized, permissionless, and highly performant protocol with zero gas fees. And they achieved this with their Cosmos-backed Layer 2 sidechain infrastructure that enables speed, accessibility, and decentralization with optimized connections to the main Ethereum chain. Basically, they're a protocol on which you can build decentralized exchanges on, which can also have all of those features. I could totally talk about all the technical aspects of this project, but I'll leave that as an exercise for the viewer as this channel is focused more on the investing side of things. So. I'll be talking about the things that I think are important for a investor to know. So let's talk about this project's future and the catalyst for this token. Now, I'm a long-term Ethereum holder, but there's definitely no denying that gas fees and waiting times for transactions to finish are absolutely ridiculous. Trading ERC tokens, ERC20 tokens is just so painful when you have to pay those uh, crazy high gas fees and you have to wait for your transactions to finish as well. Uh, Injective Protocol, on the other hand, has made it so that their protocol avoids network congestion and related high gas fees, which is absolutely amazing. This is something that I think a lot of projects have been implementing recently, and it's something that you guys should look for when you're looking to invest in any projects, especially if you're looking at a long-term view. Now, what is the utility of Inge tokens exactly, and why do they have value? They play an essential role in governance, de derivatives, collateralization, protocol security, market maker and relayer incentives, and exchange fee value capture. To break that down, Inch tokens basically enable users to participate in ecosystem governance by voting on proposed changes to the protocol through a DAO structure. And they can also be used as a stablecoin and collateral for margin trading and derivatives. Basically, they're, they're extremely essential to the protocol and a lot of the values comes from there. Now, let's talk about why I'm very bullish on the Inge token. They actually just had their mainnet launch just a month ago and have been very successful so far. Prior to the mainnet, I believe they had trading restrictions of only like $5,000 a day, but there were transfer and trading fees uh, restrictions which have now been uh, removed. You can now trade an unlimited amount and transfer an unlimited amount on the injective chain. Now here's where Inge makes itself a really attractive investment. They've improved their tokenomics with their buyback and burn program, which allows Injective to have the highest token burning ratio in the entire exchange industry. How it works is every week, 60% of fees collected on the protocol will undergo a buyback and burn process, and here's how it works. The fees collected on, the, on Injective are put into an auction. Uh, let's use their example. Let's say there's a basket of $100. Someone bids $95 for it, and automatically, if they win that auction, then they make $5 profit, which is an arbitrage opportunity for them. But once they pay that $95, uh, it is paid in inch, and so $95 worth of inch are burned automatically, immediately. As you can imagine, the more the exchange is used, the higher the burn rate, and more fees are collected. Now they also launched their $120 million liquidity incentive program named Injective Astro. I think this is a crazy amount of incentives, honestly, and I think it'll definitely attract a lot more people to help provide liquidity to the protocol. Essentially, Injective Astro will distribute 10 million inch tokens over the next five years in order to bring greater liquidity to the Injective protocol. The 10 million is split between their two other programs, Trade and Earned and DMM. 
The DMM program is for dedicated market makers and 3 million inch tokens are proportionately, proportionally allocated to all qualified DMM program participants, which is based on their MM scores calculated every four weeks. The other 7 million tokens for the Injective Astro program are allocated to all traders for their market and taker orders every week. I believe that should say maker and taker. Um, I'll try to edit that somehow. This basically incentivizes people to provide liquidity by actually trading and using their protocol. Overall, a very good program, and I think this is what sets it apart from many other DeFi tokens. They're highly incentivizing all participants from the, in the protocol from market makers to traders, and even after that, investors also benefit from the platform as fees collected on the protocol undergo the buyback and burn process. Now, with a market cap of only $400 million, I generally think that once we see a lot more volume here and more people realize how much of an opportunity this is, that Inge will truly shine. For the day, their 24-hour trading volume over their perpetuals and spot markets have been about $23 million, which is really good considering their main, not, main net was launched only about a month ago. I generally think that the future for Injective is bright and it just needs more eyes on the project. It's actually been noticed by some of the larger crypto influencers like the CryptoLark and the Coin Bureau, who actually made a video on it, which I'll leave linked in the description if you guys are interested. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys liked it and want to support the channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. It really helps me a lot. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.